Hello everyone, it's Megan Cox here. Today we will be going deeper with Google Classroom and exploring some of my favorite features and tips for using this tool in your classroom. If you're just getting started with Google Classroom, make sure you check out the link for our Getting Started with Google Classroom video in the description below. Now that I'm in my Google Classroom, I would like to start with my first tip. Giving your assignments unique names or identifiers such as number is a great way to help students easily navigate to assignments quickly. In this particular class, I may often administer TDAs, so by numbering them, it gives a quick and easy way for students to make sure that they're on the right assignment. One question that I get often is about grading student work. Here you can see that I've clicked on the assignment and I can see one student has completed this and four have not. Although these students have not finished their work, I can see student work in progress as we go. To see student work, you can click on and open the work to read. However, what you will notice is a new window pops up, making it hard for me to give grade, grades or send feedback. A great feature within Google Classroom is the connection to Google Drive. Each assignment you create creates a folder in your Google Drive. This quick little button will take you directly to the folder for that assignment, giving you a little thumbnail of each student's work. One tip that I like to use is the split screen feature. So I quickly just pull down this tab, drag it over to the right, drag my second tab to the left here, and I'm actually going to hit this X because what I want to see are my student names and the option for where I can add their grades. I'm actually just going to make this a little bit thinner and this screen just a little bit wider. Now I can click on each student's work, right click, choose the preview option, and see a nice large screen of the student's work. I can easily scroll down to the student's response, read it, and at the same time add a grade, and you will see that it has checked. I can go ahead and return his grade. I can also add comments. Once this has been returned, I can easily just arrow over, and now you'll notice that I'm on the second student's work. Again, I can repeat this process add a grade for Ebony and return her work as I just navigate through these windows. Once finished, I can just exit out of this tab and return to my Google Classroom. I'm going to go ahead and hit my back arrow and return to my dashboard and show you a few other features that I really like about Google Classroom. When creating an assignment, there are some options that make it great for differentiation and also sending multiple, sending assignments to multiple classes. So here, if I'm now on my second assignment, once I attach all of my files, I have a couple of options up top. One option is a dropdown of students. If I want to, I can uncheck the all button and only assign this to specific students who may need to complete this task. Another great option is if I have two blocks, I can go ahead and check this class and send it to both. Please note if I check two classes, it does not let me select students in each class. If you want to differentiate for small groups, you must use one class at a time. So in this particular case, I'm going to just select a few students and send my assignment. However, I might want to use the same assignment in another blocks class for some students. I can easily back out, head to this class, and reuse a post, which is a great feature. I find the class I posted in to start with, find my assignment, click reuse, and now I would choose from my dropdown of students. Both of these features allow you to quickly make posts and share, and also choose groups of students or work with small groups of children in your Google Classroom. Thanks for watching this tutorial. 
be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links in the description below.